Hi, I'm Ken from Hot Sun. Let me show you how to do PVC plumbing so you can plumb your solar pool heater. The key to making your piping look neat and professional is to keep the two pipes tight together. The pipes come down, they go underground. We dug a big pit here on both sides of this sidewalk and we slip the pipes underneath. Now normally you wouldn't run the pipes around the gutter. Instead the pipes will go up the side of the house and onto the roof and that way the pipes are traveling horizontally once they get onto the roof. Notice how the pipes match the shape of the downspout. Also, you would paint the pipes the same color as the side of the house once you're done. Now, if we tilt the collectors the correct way, the air will release up and out the top. If we tilt the collectors the wrong way, such that where the water leaves the collectors is not the highest point, look what happens. A pocket of air develops in the top left corner in this case, and the collectors do not see any flow on the left side of this bank of panels. You can feel it across the width, and you'll feel hot collectors on the left, where there's a pocket of air preventing the flow. We have to tilt the collector so that the air can rise up and out at the highest point. So here we are uh, with the collectors oriented correctly, the low point being where water enters, the high point being where water leaves. The air can rise up and out of this system naturally to the highest point where the water can then carry the flow back to the pool. There goes the air. In this case, all the collectors will get even flow. There's no air blocking the flow anywhere. You can feel across the width and you can tell that all the collectors are evenly cool and therefore all the collectors are getting even flow and everything is operating efficiently. On a sideways configuration the situation is completely different. There's no pocket up in the top corner for air to be trapped. A slight pressure drop across the system easily flushes the air out sideways. Then the vacuum breaker, that's the valve that allows air to enter so everything can drain really to break the vacuum. We don't want negative pressure in the collectors when you shut your pump off or when solar shuts off. That threads into a bushing with Teflon tape and into a T usually on the pipe going into the bank of collectors. We want it going into the collectors so there's something downstream creating pressure keeping the vacuum breaker from opening. Air in the pipes makes noise and you want to prevent that. PVC plumbing is actually the trickiest part of these projects. Everything else is, all the solar stuff is pretty, pretty straightforward, but gluing PVC pipe, that's a PVC fitting, inch and a half, PVC primer, and PVC cement. We use primer and cement on all the regular connections. Primer. primer, this is clear primer. Sometimes you'll have purple primer so the inspector can see it. I like to put the primer everywhere first. I call it cleaner. It's very toxic. Don't get it in your eyes. Wear gloves. You have to get it all the way all the way around as you can see. It's easy, to make, it's easy to get it wrong. A bit of a twist involved, whenever you can. This is a drain point, so I'm tilting it down a little bit. I'm going to put a drain here. Tilt it down off this pipe. I like to leave the cans closed. That's 7-Eleven PVC cement. 
Okay, so you understand that the air has to release up and out of the system at the highest point. Now, if you have multiple banks of collectors, you need a common high point so that none of the water can escape from the system until it all rises up to the top. And in doing so, all of the air in the system has to get to the top before it can be carried back to the pool by the flow. So here's some examples. Two and a half inch main, no, two inch main feeds this bank, restricting it because it's a smaller bank. It will take more flow, so we restrict some flow to the smaller bank, significantly smaller than that bank. Inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half plus inch and a half equals two inch. When it comes to area, and that pipe feeds the third bank, this one. Return. Return and return. All come together at a common high point. So we defined it well here. Inch and a half returns all the way.